Hello, this is Sandman 99, and uh, we're back with more adventures of Jeff Perry. So in the uh, last episode, we established ourselves a sort of a home here at Natick Bank's Red Rocket. And uh, we killed the Deathclaw with a little bit of help from Duke from the Atom Cats. And uh, we also managed to find a second set of power armor. And I'm just going to jump in that here right away and park it in the uh, uh, power armor workstation. I'm just going to jump in this one and move it out of the way a little bit. still move around in this set of power armor with no fusion core in it, but you can only do so very slowly. So we'll do a little bit of crafting now. It looks like these pieces that are on this thing are in pretty good shape. So we just need a left leg piece to have a complete set here. And of course we don't have a left leg piece, because that piece, that, that power armor set doesn't have one either. So, there we go. We're one left leg piece short of a complete set of power armor. And so, now we have uh, got Chef Perry's smock. We've got Chef Perry's... Okay, we can do uh, some things with this. We could... Uh, Add a pocketed modification and we could do the same thing with Chef Perry's hat but I think we're not going to do that right now because uh, we're not going to be going very far away from the home base here to start off with instead I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of local scavenging and maybe now we're in daytime again. Uh, we'll do a little more scrapping here. You can't really see the border, but uh, it'll still give you a warning when you go outside of it. There. This is actually a fairly large area. So that uh, eventually... If you do happen to get settlers here and that kind of thing, you can actually have a pretty good sized settlement here. Although it is kind of out in the middle of nowhere. So, uh, you know, it's in normal gameplay, it's unlikely that you're going to uh, um, have too much in the way of settlement building out this way, at least at first. Or how far I can go here. I think I can go out to here. Or I can get that one. And looks like I can uh, oh, I can get that. Can't get this though. Oh, I can get that though. So it looks like if I wanted to I could build a pretty good sized settlement out here. <coughs> But that's about it for uh, the scrapping for this area. Oh, I think I see something in there that I can scrap yet, too. That ceiling fan. Nope, it's not scrappable. I guess not. So you've got yourself a nice solid building here that you can uh, build stuff in. You've got a fair amount of room as well to work with. So, anyway, now that we've gotten that little chore looked after, it's going to take a little run up here and see what we can do with our weapons. Okay, it would be nice to be able to put 
a recon scope on, but that looks like that's not going to be happening for a while. So it looks like we'll have to just make do with the medium scope on our uh, rifle. But we can put the boosted capacitor on it, which increases the damage by quite a lot. So we're going to do that. And it looks as though we uh, can't really do anything else with it right now. Okay. So what can we do with this? Okay, we can put a hardened receiver on this. I think we're going to do that too. And uh, that way we can put a four times combat scope on this gun as well help us for some distance shooting. Unfortunately, now we're out of materials. We need more adhesives and nuclear material and crystal and all that kind of stuff. But that pistol is kind of a... That Institute pistol is kind of a redundant weapon now anyway. So we'll carry it around because it's not really very heavy. being but anyway so this settlement goes just about out to the kind of the curb right there on the you know just across the street from this building but uh, you know today we're going to work a little bit on sniper perches because having the ability to uh, Shoot things from a distance is a good thing. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to do a little bit of a trick. And you'd have to have uh, the mod place everywhere in order to be able to do this. Because what it's going to involve is building a little bit of stuff outside of the build limit of uh, the settlement here in order to make it across to that roof over there. And so, what we're going to do, first of all, we can probably do something like this now. Or maybe not. Mm, the finicky thing. Fine. And if we go back here, we can build some wooden steps. There. Now, let's see here. Is that going to be enough to get us up there? Well, maybe we can use this short staircase. Yeah, that looks almost like it'll kind of line up. Okay, so we're outside the build limit area, but what we can do is we can build that and then we can just grab it and stick it onto the end of the stairs and there it goes. Then it looks like we're going to need another small piece, so we'll probably try and build this one. Yeah, i do that. <clears throat> because then, I think, we can do something like this. Okay. If we grab a hold of that from a little bit further back, that will help us too. Okay, so now 
we have kind of sort of a way to get up here onto this roof. And I have to kind of hop over that a little bit in order to make it onto this lower level here too. So there we go. So that gives us a little bit of a vantage point so that at some point if something else respawns down in that area I'll have a nice comfy uh, safe spot to snipe at them from. It looks like now I need to have a drink of water and eat something. So we'll do a little bit of cooking as well. So I can make some purified water. up that death claw that we killed last night and uh, a few other things that we've managed to scavenge along the way. And there we go. So uh, we're going to start doing a little bit of scavenging around this area now because it might be good if we uh, could build ourselves a little bit in the way of defenses for this place. And of course we still have to be somewhat cautious about how we uh, move around down here too. Because you never know what might come along. Uh, well, I guess I'm not opening that for a while. But we can pick up some of this stuff. That's amazing. I bet you didn't know you could make a 10-foot section of shack wall out of a couple of kids' wooden blocks and a tin can or two, eh? So we have a terminal here that we can crack. And... Uh, Mostly all it is is it's the personal um, journal, I guess, of some people that lived in this house at the time of the Great War. And they're describing their experience <clears throat> when civilization ended, I guess. Or around the time when civilization ended. And we'll do a quick save because uh, this is a really dangerous area and the person could get killed at any moment by anything. So... We'll just uh, maybe snoop around in here a little bit. Now that the death claw is gone. And it looks like this used to be a super mutant hangout. We'll maybe grab that stuff. Okay. We might have to make several trips here because we can't carry very much. Dead super mutant there.
there. Okay, a little bit of something there. Uh oh. Crap, those guys just spawned out of nowhere here. <laughs> well, I was in here. So I guess we're going to head back to the ranch and hopefully we can make it up the stairs before uh, something ugly catches up to us. Okay. <laughs> well, it looks like we made it in time. That was a close call, though. So we'll hide inside our uh, little enclosure here, which uh, come actually out, come out wherever you are. serves a dual purpose because it uh, helps me to hide, but it also protects me against any kind of grenade-type missiles that these guys might try to throw. Because occasionally, super mutants do throw Molotov cocktails and Here, stuff like human, that. Human, human. I got a treat for you. So we'll just wait until he gives up. No blood to spill today. And since I've pulled the stairs up after me, he can't come up here. So that's a pretty good trick. Now if he's left. We can scrap some of this super mutant armor and get a... Uh oh. I guess he wasn't gone yet. get a look here and we'll wait for him to leave because now it looks like we're going to have to clean him and his buddies out before we can continue to scavenge that area be a good fight. what's he shooting at oh okay looks like he's picked a fight somehow with that bear yeah there they are Who's winning? <laughs> okay, well, it looks like a toss-up so far. Of course, you have to be really careful about uh, even if they can see you from here because uh, all it takes is for one Molotov cocktail to come up and uh, you're dead just like that so now that bear is over there behind that building I'm guessing he must have won We're shooting this thing with a 44 revolver, right? <laughs> and that doesn't do very much damage. Not only that, but we're shooting him in the head with it. We'll have to sit here and patiently wait for him to uh, 
settle down now. Because they're too smart for their own good. For my own good. So we'll wait and see if uh, he comes back up the bank here. I wonder what happened to that super mutant. Okay, here comes Mr. Bear. Ah, missed him. Okay, guess I'll have to wait for one more round. I've almost got him now. time up the bank just need to shoot you in the face one more time and then you're done Okay, now we'll get back to uh, scrapping some stuff here again. Every little thing is hard-earned. You're uh, playing in in the, this manner, which is, I think, probably a little bit above and beyond what the game designers had originally intended. But anyway, head over here and see if hopefully there's a dead super mutant down there too. Well as a dead bear. Yeah. Okay. So you have to, when you're playing like this, you have to play a lot more tactically, which means you have to spend a lot more time running away. And, uh, well, it looks like I just came out at the Natick Police Department. Brag mine in the street up there and another one just beyond it. All right, well... <clears throat> Looks as though our uh, scavenging trip was somewhat short-lived. Okay, 
Okay. I guess we'll do a little bit of cooking. And we'll grab a quick drink of water here. And maybe what we'll do is we'll go up here and we'll have a quick look. See if there are any more super mutants. Area. Because where there's one, there's usually two or three. Yeah, there's another one right there. we'll stand here and have a smoke because that will uh, give our surprise attack a little bit more uh, punch. It's starting to get dark again already. So maybe what we'll do is we'll leave it here for now. And uh, we'll go after the super mutants in this little square here in the next episode. Until then, I am Sandman99.